Hey fellow content creators, this is your boy Kakiso M and in front of me I have the Canon C200. Yes, some of my friends will be like, what? The C200? You, 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 uh, we don't see you as the guy who will use the C200. And I have said that uh, before amongst my friends that the C200, I have an issue with it, um, a love-hate relationship. So when I bought this, I borrowed it, I loaned it, it doesn't really matter. What I'm going to talk about today is increasing or a cheaper alternative of increasing um, the storage capacity of the C200. So it's the cheaper way to increase the storage of the Canon C200. So let me explain about the storage. You actually get um, three slots for storage. So the first one is the more expensive C fast cut and and this is this is a C fast cut. This is very expensive in South Africa. This uh, the 128 Extreme Pro is about um, five grand, five thousand rand. So at the at this moment, um, today what is it? Today is somewhere in April uh, 2022. <laughs> this is about five grand, five thousand rand. So in other countries, um, you can do the math or you can check. This is <laughs> very expensive not only expensive uh you can actually shoot just you can shoot about 15 minutes of raw uh, now i'm struggling to put this back you can only shoot 15 minutes of a raw with this um very expensive storage so does it show that this is not my camera <laughs> anyway and then you get two slots at the back um those slots there at the back and these are your sd cards so the c fast card is made for raw yes this camera shoots raw and unfortunately or fortunately it doesn't have the other options like your canon uh, raw light mode it's canon raw light and on that it has a light mode lt mode I think LT is for light, I'm not sure. LT mode, uh, you get the standard and then you get the high quality on other Canon cameras like the C70, Canon C70. Um, they recently did the update to get a RAW. So this only have one mode of RAW and it shoots at an amazing 1000 meg meg megabits per second. So that means you're going to fill up your C fast cut very quick. I want to show you how many minutes we can write on this and then show you the alternative. I'm hoping the alternative will work because I have never actually tried it. Okay, so now you can see actually at the top here, it says C fast. So once you turn it to raw, it automatically go and write onto the C fast card and it shows 16 minutes and that is 50p standby anyway. That is that. So what I'm going to do now is test the method that they say can actually increase, uh, can give you a way of putting a more cheaper SSD onto this. So what I'm having here is the SSD and this SSD is it's a, it's a M.2 SSD, but it follows the SATA protocol. So it doesn't, it's not the NVMe. I normally call it a NVMe. I don't know what is it called. So the difference is that this has two slots. So it follows the SATA protocol. That means it actually, even the speed is actually kept at around, I think they are kept at around 600. So this should be 500 and something. Um, yeah. Okay, it's just written M.2 SATA SSD. So, I have a parcel here. Um, the parcel comes from, sure, it's not written, but it comes from China somewhere. It's not written. So, this is supposed to be the adapter that will actually make this CFAST work.
SSD converter. It's a retain camera card SSD converter. And this is specifically for the Canon C200. Um, when you get this, you have to specify that it's for the C200 because you have a cable that will be coming out of the C200. And if it's a thicker cable, oh, there's even a screwdriver. If it's a thicker cable, uh, you won't be able to close the door. So this is the adapter. So the SSD will go in there. C fast to SSD. And like I said, it must be a SATA SSD. And so this is the bit that goes into the camera. So it's a dummy C fast. All right, let's see. Um, I'm going to remove this. So now I'm going to put this inside. Okay, now I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking if I don't have to take out this window, um, if you can see this window and you know the cable just come out of here. But for now, let me find a way of closing this see if it will close it's closed um there is just a gap there the ssd is on okay so now let's carry on because actually this is working so after troubleshooting, what I found that was I was supposed to put the CF card adapter, then go and initialize, uh, meaning format the SSD. So um, you have seen that we were only getting 15 minutes from the 128 um, gigabyte uh, CFAST card. So now I've put the CFAST um, in, and when I close, that status actually shows us that um, this is working, that blue LED. And now I have a green light here of which it was previously becoming red and quickly goes off. So I have formatted and now we can confirm that um, at the top there, you can see we are actually having 136 minutes. So which is 612. So we have just over two hours of recording raw so this is actually way cheaper just to give you an idea from south african rent and maybe percentage wise um the ssd plus the ssd to um the cfast to ssd adapter actually cost uh, not half cost less than the price of the 128 gigabyte uh, C fast card. So the 128 C fast card cost me, actually, this one didn't cost me anyway, but it cost about 5,000 rents in South African uh, rents. And the SSD, which is one terabyte, and the adapter actually cost less than that. Um, it cost about uh, between 80 and 90 percent of the 128 gigabyte ssd so guys you've seen it this is the cheaper way of uh, getting more storage for your ssd and you can record more than two hours of raw uh, writing 1000 megabit per second onto the ssd card so how this performs i'm going to test it and i will let you know in due time how it performs so from me kakuso m production uh, please subscribe to my channel like this video if you do and 
of course this was organic same as most of my um reviews my videos i'm actually out of here peace be with you